This feathered behemoth likes to attack slayers in many ways, either from afar or up close, from the sky or on the ground. Hello everyone, it's me, Felony, and in today's Behemoth Breakdown, we are going to talk about the Shrike. Shrike can be found in both the snow region and forest regions on Shattered Isles. Once Shrike sets its sight on Slayers, it will use the following moves in attempt to eliminate the enemy. With Scratch, Shrike will stand on two legs and while moving, swipe its claws either two or four times at the targeted player in front of it. Shrike uses the two swipe version for players up close and the four swipe version for players further away. In most cases, use your dodge to avoid this move. At the end of the attack, Shrike will screech, leaving itself open to attacks. Shrike will bring its arm across its body and swing its arm back, hitting players behind or on the side of Shrike. As long as you don't stand behind or on the side of Shrike for too long, this move can be easily avoided. Shrike will jump back and with its wings unleash a huge tornado towards the players. This moving tornado is rather easy to avoid so long as you're not too close to it. Be careful when Shrike jumps back, any player behind Shrike will possibly get hit when it leaps back. After using Gust, Shrike will always follow up with the move Glide. Shrike takes the air, flying very low to the ground. Shrike starts this move in two different ways, either run away, turn around, then glide, or use the Gust move and follow it up with Glide. This is a very important move to learn because this move has a weakness. Once Shrike is in the air, Shrike can be knocked down by a well-timed hit. When Shrike is knocked down, it will be left open to attacks for a few seconds. The best way to knock down Shrike is with the Chain Blades or Hammer. Chain Blade users can use the heavy long-range attacks to knock down Shrike, while Hammer users can use a well-timed shot to knock it down. Unfortunately, Axe users will have the most difficult time knocking down Shrike since it requires a nearly perfect Axe Swing to knock it down without getting hit. I don't recommend most Axe users try this because of the high risk of getting hit. At first, Sword users will have the same problem as Axe users, but once a Sword user picks up a Frost Elemental Sword, you're good to go. With at least one block of the Sword's meter, you can use the Sword's special attack to knock down Shrike. Currently, not all elements can knock down Shrike while using a sword special attack. Frost, Radiant, and Umbral can knock down Shrike, while Raw and Flame cannot. Shock is able to knock down Shrike, but there is a nasty bug with this element right now, so I don't recommend using Shock until it's fixed. If you're curious what the Shock element bug is, I'll have a link in the description. Shrike will twist its body, jump in the air, and slam its fist into the ground. Watch out for this move because Shrike will home in on a player before slamming on the ground. Unless you're far away from Shrike, you cannot avoid this move without dodging. Dodge when the Shrike is just about to touch the ground to avoid this move. Spreading its wings, Shrike leaps into the air, landing behind the player. Shrike uses this move to reposition itself to try to attack the player from behind. Shrike will bring its arm back, quickly charging, then releasing a slash-like projectile at the players from a distance. It's a pretty easy move to dodge as long as you're ready for it. Be careful gathering items nearby Shrike because this behemoth will use this move to hit players not paying attention. Shrike will stand on its hind legs and spread its wings, turning all its feathers red. Shrike is open during this time, so get a few hits before it can fight back. When enraged, Shrike's attack speed is increased, and when Shrike uses Moon Slash, it will now throw a second Moon Slash that runs horizontal shortly after the first one. If you're having trouble taking on this behemoth during its enrage, play it safe and wait until it's no longer enraged. And like all behemoths, Shrike will be exhausted after being enraged. Be sure to take advantage of these kind of situations to possibly break the head and body of Shrike. Breaking the head twice will give the possibility to drop chipped beak. As of 0.2.6, here's the list of all the items you can get after slaying Shrike. 
That should be everything you need to know about Shrike. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in Dauntless. If you haven't seen Behemoth Breakdown for Nasher, be sure to check it out. In the next Behemoth Breakdown, Scrave will be our next Behemoth.